G'day guys, it's Paul here from Aussie Survivor again. Uh, just doing the Otfred solar panel, 100 watt folding panel. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to set up the Waco with the panel. And if you have a look outside, it's, um, it's a little bit overcast today, so this will be a really good test. Um, got an old battery I picked up pretty much for nothing. As it's, yeah, so it's nice and cheap. Um, and I bought these actually bought these myself. I'll try and find them for the site. Um, if I do, I'll put a link in the below. Um, it's just a battery clip, so it's just so you can plug your, your 12 volt into your 12 volt. So the Waco is designed to run on 12 volt. Um, so in your car or something like that. Really good fridge, this is an old one. This would be about five years old, so been in the family a long time. So what we're gonna do is get the panel out in a bit of overcast weather. We'll set that up and we'll um, go from there. Let's get this out. So we'll get this bad boy out. So again, this is the Otfrid. I'll put another link in below. Nice carry bag, uh, good, good protection. Again with these, if you missed my last one, it's two push. One, two, it's, it is quite tight. Two, and you're done. So they've got a nice, they've got a nice um, cable there. So let's just make sure we open the right way. Uh, so we'll open like that. Yeah, so the panel's going to go up ways like that. And we're going to put that out oh, in the rain. So these are waterproof. I'm going to get this, is, uh, the sticks come off this a bit. So I'm going to get that fixed. But that just sits there. Again, just check your, um, check your cables are in nice and tight there. That will probably fall off again. So I need to secure that a bit better but for now that will be fine now the sun is behind a cloud right now or conveniently but that's all right we got a little bit of juice in the fridge so i'll just put these out like so yeah grab my cords because the sun's actually that way so let's let's put it like that for now see if we can get any juice Again, really good length on the on the off solar panel, so good connectors. So we're just going to wire that up here. So come through here. You'll see. Very important we get this right. So it's a negative, positive. Some people disagree. I always like to go positive first and then negative. Actually, I think it's negative first. Go negative first, and then you're positive because that's you can hear the um, Oddford kicking off there. So. Again, just an old battery uh, for car battery, which is perfect for what we're doing today. So let's just check that that's going through. So I can see here the battery is really low. So you can see, I don't know, actually I'll just take it off. Why not? Because we can. So you can see there the battery is really low. So we need to get some power into that. Now from what I can gather here, and again I'm not a pro here, but I think that's what's going into it, 12 volt. So let's um, we'll we'll soon see if it's going to work. So I'm just going to stick that on. Again, you can see very very low sunlight today. We got a little bit coming through, and we got whoop, and we got rain, rain also. So so this will be interesting to get this on proper. Um, again, just yeah, 15 bucks these cost me. Just an adapter. So the idea is so you can have this independent of your car so you're not running running on your car battery. Um, let's go undo these. So that's that's a socket. In hindsight, that should just pop into there, which is looking pretty good at the moment. So let's just leave that out for a sec. It's this little alligator clip. Let's stick with our plan on negatives. That one goes there. I'll just pull that a little bit. And that actually tucks in nicely. So be interested if this works. We'll see we'll see in a second. Here we go. Alright, so if you come over here, you can see we've got power straight away. So I'll just turn it off. Turn it on. And this is firing up. This hasn't been used for a while. I heard this off. Um, 
Yeah, so that's powering up fine. Again, this is about five plus year old Waco. So good credit to Waco. I'll have a look, see if I can find them and maybe we can put them on the side as well. Um, yeah, a bit dirty in there, but you can see it's, it's operational. Uh, so we're just going to shut that up. It's not that exciting in there. We could give it a good bit clean before I went out. Let's just leave that there. So basically, nice and easy. We've got power drawing from the battery to the Waco. Uh, totally independent. And we've got the panel out here. Um, Yeah, so what we might do is we might just cut this video now. We'll come back in a half an hour or so and we'll just see how the how it's holding up with the um, charge from in a rainy day and see how it all goes. All right, guys, so this is the uh, Waco uh, fridge setup. So what I've done, the battery was very low. So as you can see, pretty overcast today. Um, so this will be a good test. Uh, so I've got the panels out as best I can, I think the sun direction. Now what's happening, because the battery is so low, um, and I'm not going to cheat, I'm going to just try and use the panel to charge this up. Again, it is an old battery, so, but it does seem to be taking a charge and working, so everything seems right there. Um, when I'm turning it on, I am getting an Erico. So I'm guessing that is because the um, power might be low, I could be wrong. It seems to be operating, but it seems to be shutting in and out, so it might be an issue there. Or the fridge could be broken. <laughs> that is a possibility too, So, but we'll soon see. I'm going to just charge the battery up for about an hour. Um, you see already the error codes, uh, there it is again, it's coming on. So I'm guessing that's because we've got a pretty low battery, and based on the actual indicator there, that would make sense, because that's saying it's pretty low. So let's have a look and, um, and go from there. All right, so we've got a bit more sun now. You can see I've started it up and it did drop a couple of bars straight away. But with the sun coming out, yeah, so it is. We need more sun. But at the end of the day, with that little bit of charge, the fridge is working fine. So the battery was low. And so just charging it up with the solar panel has got it operational and I've only just turned this on so I'll come back and um, We'll see. We'll see how, how it's all going I just worked out something cool on this. So if you want to charge a little Power bank, which I would So now it's multi-charging this button here. Watch this Turns it off so the sun's right on the panel. And charging. So I just hope we're not affecting the, I assume the charge will still go to the um, the battery. But I look at that, it's saying it goes to both. So I'm just going to leave it on. Yeah, a little fun fact there. So we know what one button does. <laughs> All right, the sun's, sun's out. Change the panel around a bit. We've had the Waco on for a good hour, or maybe two now. No air, air light coming up anymore. Something's we've held power, which is good. Let's see if it made my bottle cold. Yeah, it's chilly. It's not frozen. It's cold, but... So the Waco's working. I was a bit worried it wasn't going to work. Call that done, I reckon.